Alrighty, hello and welcome back. Okay, so, um, I've run, I don't know, maybe five, six or so dungeon runs, uh, since the last time you guys saw me, but I am, um, uh, probably the 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 most well geared that I have been since this whole thing started I put some serious effort into this because I want to go into this fight um, a little bit over prepared uh, and considering our our buddy here is uh, talking about a cookout I have a feeling that's gonna that's gonna entail if I had to guess uh, it would probably be burning damage considering it a grill that's what makes sense so there's a couple of precautions I've taken here. First things first, um, you can see we have a lot of high-end stuff now. So as an example, Royal Sword, and I have actually spent some like resources to upgrade stuff. Uh, I don't know if I've ever shown any of this off. It's been a while, so I'm just going to quickly uh, show you as I'm talking about what I'm doing here. But there's a lot of different options we can do, and you know, you see the little stars beside it. I don't know if I've even mentioned that, but if you saw the my uh, playthrough of the first Soda Dungeon, you'll know there's tiers, like level tiers for each one of these weapons and armor and so on and so forth. So, in any event, um, we have uh, quite a few upgrades here. This is probably the highest sword that we've gotten so far, the Royal Sword, and I've upgraded that. Um, I've upgraded some of the armor. I don't know if you guys have seen the, the power shield, but again, it gives you health and attack, and every time you level it up, that goes up higher and higher. Uh, I think you've seen the, the uh, Prisma Shell shield, and then there's nothing special here. And then for armor, I think you've seen most of the armor, but this is the highest level armor. I actually upgraded all of these that I own, which is only two. Uh, so we have a 29% chance to just straight up evade, and I put that on my uh, nurses. Now we're gonna run two nurses, we're gonna run three carpenters, and so you're gonna get to see what Nail It looks like, and then we're running one Mystic um, for the uh, regen, for the um, MP regen. Um, the daggers, I have, a very high level so you can see this is a gold star level eight so this is almost the highest uh, assassin dagger you can get granted it's not much damage but they're just there to help their their main purpose is to keep us alive and then uh for the gems i put uh, damage reflection in these two and the rest of them have the uh, star gem which is more health more damage and more mp so basically 263 is about as high attack as i'm going to get and uh, we need to we need to just absolutely murder this boss. And then you'll notice I actually crafted some accessories this time around. Uh, prevents burn and stone only obtained by crafting. And I just went ahead and crafted myself six because I know this boss can be really rough. I remember this boss giving me trouble um, on my first playthrough. Now, where are where are our relics? Here they are. Uh, this is now level 50. I brought the region up to level 50 because obviously that's gonna that's gonna be that's gonna play a pretty big role in keeping us alive in this boss battle as well as anything coming you know down the road. Um, and then of course we've got the crit damage is also so this is a 25% crit damage bonus, but it's only a 5% crit chance. Um, so yeah, uh, I have I don't think I've done much else here. And then. I don't remember what I've done here, but this is a uh, 6% damage for like reflection damage. Uh, this is the, um, I did put, I think I put some more into the Relic of Mastery. So we get a 5% boost to the character XP Mastery. And I believe I did, I upped this as well since the last time you saw, and that's 6% chance to find dungeon keys. So that helps when I'm running the dungeons. Okay, now let's first turn in this quest, purchase eight sodas for 20k, thank you so much for that money. Let's go ahead and catch up and read our mail. We'll go down to the to the one that we have not opened yet. Okay, so from the Dark Lord, uh, can you stop and get some ketchup? My bottle expired last month. It's a vinegar based condiment, so it's probably fine, but um, I'm worried the flavor will be off. He seems like a nice guy, I'm gonna be honest. All right, I was planning to invite the Dark Lady to my cookout as friends, of course, um, but I realized I have no idea how to send her send mail to another dimension. I knocked on the wizard's door, but he didn't answer, so I thought I'd write you a letter to complain about it. Well, that's just terrific. Thank you, sir. I've been trying to figure it, uh, it out uh, this whole time, but I'm stumped. Why soda? Adventuring and looting, I understand, but it seems like every town I visit is uh, based solely on the production and consumption of soda. I'm just not seeing the connection. Well, obviously, it's because people love soda, I'm, gu I'm guessing. Uh, can you grab a six-pack for the party? I never actually tried it before. Nice. Okay, cool. All right, so there's all our mail from the uh, the Dark Lord. And, uh, yeah, 
Um, what else do I need to cover? Okay, so where are our bros? So Carpenter's up to level 37. The Nurse is at 45. Mystic is at 45. Thief just hit 46. Also, um, oh, Dark Mage is 36. The Huntress is 37 and the Blade Master is uh, 36. I, I think I showed this off a little bit in the last episode, but I'm going to be honest with you. These are not really that, that great of classes when you compare them to some of the other stuff that we're going to be getting into later. Um, I have looked into this a little bit more and uh, there, this game can go much deeper than I even remembered and uh, part of that was because of the um, addition to the Primal Lands which we will 100% be getting into because it's got some of the most ultra gear you can get. But all that to say um, there is a lot more complexity in this game if you really want to have it. Um, what else is there? Oh, I'm, I'm running a different pet. So I got this guy up to level 6. Uh, we could have HP increase if we want it. And I've, I've been leveling up this little bro. And he's giving us a 5% boost to physical attacks. And I feel like that's probably the way to go for what we're doing right now. So, okay. I think that's everything um, that I wanted to cover. We do have 4.5 mil, but who cares? We're going to go straight to the end. Uh, I'm still accruing these. So once we get to the uh, warrior dimension, which is after the 10th dimension, I'll have some battle credits to, um, to use here. But uh, yeah, let's go straight in and see if we can actually win this. This is, uh, this is somewhat of a battle of attrition here. Oh, I, there was one more thing I wanted to show off. Uh, I redesigned the scripts. So I got rid of all the regular scripts, and I made one script that could be used for everybody, and uh, it works quite well. I've also solved the whole problem with uh, her like recasting that over and over. Now she only does it if we don't have the buff, which is really quite nice. So anyways, we're just gonna auto until we get to the balls, which should not be that, that long. And then I'm gonna manually control. I don't know if you just saw that, but Nail, it just did 1.1k. So, based off that damage, I don't think we're going to have any problem. I may have overcompensated here. But you know what? I'd rather go in and, and destroy... This is going to make it look like this is easy, but really, it's 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 not. Oh, man, I, I accidentally... I, turned, I tried to turn that off, and I skipped it. Okay, so he probably said something about welcome to the... I don't know. Uh, any interest in a hot dog? Only slightly burnt. Uh, I've got some burgers here, too. Gosh, seems so nice, man. I hate to have to destroy you. Oh, you still want to do this battle thing, huh? Well, I'm not one to disappoint. I can't let this skill of mine go to waste. I'm pretty arrogant already. I hate to see what happens if I can't let myself get rusty. Let's do this. Okay, I do remember a little bit about this boss. So, essentially what's going to happen here is... And this guy's... This is a pretty neat, like, setup. So, the grill is going gonna, is gonna to heal him. So... Basically, you got to focus this guy down. I don't know why this has a weird number for HP, but we're going to focus the grill down. And once we beat that, it's basically game over at that point. This guy, I can almost guarantee you, is going to do some sort of burn attack. I feel like that's what I remembered, but it's been so long. Anyways, you can technically poison and burn some of this stuff, but they resist a lot. So I'm just going to focus on damage. Boom. Okay. Now, you'll notice this is um, receives 100% crit chance for three attacks. That's not for Nail It, though. I did test that. So if I put that on her, then she would have it, but we're not going to worry about that. Now, this is the thing where I said Nail It, 2 MP, very, very cheap. And because I did the quest, instead of doing two times attack, it does four times the attack. So, bam. Yeah, 1.1k on him. So, now we can also do this if we want to, when we want to set that guy on... on uh, burn like on fire will do that but this is just more damage uh 1.1k and then this is probably going to do a little less okay 1k and then yeah we're good at this point boom back attack and then we will try to do this so he got burn okay he definitely did a, a, an attack that i figured he would do all right so let's do that and we're, we're just going to absolutely destroy it yeah i'm way more prepared this time than i was the first time like ever, I ever got here and since we have the backup healer we can we can be guaranteed to um to out heal it I don't think this is going to be a problem this is going to be uh, very easy I may have over prepared slightly yeah perhaps I don't even really need to do that but you just don't you don't want to die obviously that's the name of the game right 
He is on fire. That's interesting. Okay. Well, two healers is definitely not a bad thing. This guy's dead right now. Boom. And now it's basically over. Poor little guy. I kind of feel sorry for him. Now we'll see if we can, uh... We'll just see if we can do that, just for fun. Okay, he resisted it. It's not gonna matter, though, is it? Man, we absolutely destroyed. All right, buddy, well... Sorry, pal. That's all she wrote. Okay, well, we did great. Sparkling waters, cool breeze, warm sunshine, and here we are fighting inside of our dungeon. I'm not sure if it's destiny or just really bad luck, but I've got an idea. A real one this time. No jokes, no tra traps, no trick. It's the perfect solution. You can thank me next dimension. Amazing. I can't wait to see what he has in store for us. Wow, okay. Yeah, I, I spent some money upgrading and buying the burn resist stuff or the burn like immunity, so that made that look ridiculously easy. But yeah, okay. Well, we did it. New items to craft. Let's quickly check that out. What do we got? I wish it highlighted. Is that it? Oh, Essence Reaver. Okay, it's a legendary weapon. Very cool. We can do the Midas Sword. I don't know if... I can't remember if that was there before or not. I feel like it wasn't. Class Warden. Okay. We could we could have crafted this, but we're, you know, I don't see any need to do that. Platinum armor. We could have done. You could also go in with vampire suits if you don't have the other ones. This gives you a chance to evade as well. That's so expensive though, because yeah, like if you want these platinum, 25 platinum bars. In order to make platinum, it's three ore, so 25 times three, so 75 ore to make one. What was that again? To make one armor. Plus you need this. So, anyways. All right, well, that worked out. Unfortunately, we're going to lose all these. This was not super expensive. I had 278. I, I did use all my gold, though, so that's not great. But, um, yeah. So there's that. Uh, we do have 4.6 million. Um, was there anything else? Let's go ahead and talk to the wizard here. Hello? Yes, I'm the wizard. Portal stone, warping. Sounds like a lot of work. It's my nap time. Sigh. I'm going to turn into this thing, aren't you? I'll see what I can do, but my face is hitting that pillow in about five seconds. Hurry along now, buddy. All right, well, I think all that worked. Um, I would seriously doubt if you're playing the game, you probably won't have that much attack, but you can still get through it if you if you use the strategy similar to what I just did. Okay, there was there are two other things I wanted to show off. Um, number one, I did create this. This saves your pet, but it does cost 20K gold to just get what you want. I like it, though. Um, I removed some of the other setups that I was doing because we're going to get into some really cool stuff once we get to the warrior dimension. I've got a lot of cool plans for that, so I hope you guys stick around for it. But anyways, so I saved my little pet in this because I kept wondering why every time I like I paid for this and then I went out, I didn't have the pet that I wanted, and it turns out it saves the pet. So just keep that in mind. Okay, now I'm going to show you real quickly the soda scripts. So I got rid of all of them except for this one, and we can go ahead and just view this. So... Uh, you'll understand what the closing time is later, but that's just in there. And then this is in there for your um, Dark Mage. You've got the heals. Uh, you've got this is the line that you'd need for the um, the recharge, so the the MP regen. If it says this, she'll only cast it when it's not uh, currently active on the party members. And then you have this in for your uh, your thief. This is in for the nail it. So like your guys, if if it's not a normal monster, meaning if it's a mid boss or a boss, then uh, or a janitor, I believe that includes, then he'll they'll use nail it rather than a regular attack, and then so on. So this basically just combines everything into one nice um, grouping. And I feel like that's I should have done that way earlier. Boy, I wish I had, but I didn't. So, anyways, okay. So there's that. Uh, here's once again. Here's where we're at on our um, on our relics. We're really still not that terribly far. I feel like in the first soda dungeon, I was I f maybe I was way further than this. I don't remember honestly. But anyways, let's go ahead and uh, convert this. 658 just doesn't seem like much. Oh, but before we do that, let's go ahead and liquidate. 440 gold. Wow, that's it. Okay, great. 
throw it in, and let's get on out of here. Okay. So now we're headed to the 10th dimension, and I'm going to try to do this relatively quickly. I think we're more than powerful enough. It's a shame, because I've been waiting oh so patiently for you, or rather a companion of yours, but where one goes, the other seems to follow. We've met before, but you're, you've already forgotten. It doesn't matter. You'll understand soon enough. Okay, well that's interesting. We didn't get a relic. Okay, we're... Oh, ruin. Oh, I remember this. When we first started the game, we got murdered. Huh. Oh. Okay. Sorry, my friends. Would not have wished this fate on anyone. Due to the meddling of the Darkest Lord, it seems you've been pulled into our wasteland of a dimension. The Dark One has been exacting a plot of total and ex ex uh, exonerable uh, multi-universe destruction. I don't know how to say that word. I'm an idiot. Uh, for now, he has remained here building and concentrating his power. But I fear that soon he may advance beyond that dimension and spread his corruption to everywhere he sees fit. I'm not sure uh, much can be done. He's simply too formidable. I don't know about that, sir. I'll be the judge of that. Am I ever glad to see you guys? I never thought it would, would happen, to be honest. It's really you, right? I can't believe... Or, well, never mind. Let's just say you remind me of a, the oldest friend. What I haven't seen in a long, long time. Now, I don't know how or why, but today I see a tavern that is once more full of able-bodied fighters. I believe some questions are better left unanswered. Uh, so thank you, friends, for any of the help. Okay. Oh, and pay no mind to the wizard. He's acting a bit melodramatic these days. It's true, our, our odds don't look great, but what else can we do? Okay, well, obviously what we can do is buy some, some sodas. Okay. So what do I normally go with? I need a thief healer. I think I'm going to actually just bring some of these guys. Okay. We don't have any other quests. Are we still um, are we still on our same pet? We are. Okay. I think that's it. Oh, look, we got a message. Zero tolerance policy. There is, uh, there is to be no written correspondence of any form between any living being in this land. Violation is punishable by death. Huh. From the darkest lord. Okay. Well, I don't like that, but... Alright, well, I guess we don't have a choice. And so it begins again. Very nice. And once I beat this dimension, we will then be in what is called the Warrior Dimension. And, um, yeah, from there, everything you get, you keep. And the progression just starts for real, for real. Th think of this as, like, the first ten dimensions are kind of a warm-up to get you, get you, um, get your understanding of the game and how things progress and how the bosses can be. And from that point on, um, you just start blasting at that point, so... Um, I'm going to try to get, I'll go ahead and just get like I normally do. I'll take us to 100 or at least 80. No, we normally go to 100. So I'll just go to 100, dungeon level 100, exit out and see what quests we have. I never actually looked at the quests I had. I picked up a couple of other quests from the last dimension, but I don't know if I completed them. I guess I didn't and I forgot to look at them. So if I can remember, I'm going to go ahead and show those off as well. And like I said, I'll just be, um, I'll be, I, well, I hate to say beelining, but basically, I mean, it's going to take me probably a good five or six more runs at minimum uh, before I have a decent set of gear so we can go try the, the um, Dimension 10 boss. But like I said, once we get that done, we're good to go. Then it'll, I'll just bring you back at certain progression points. I can't wait to show you guys the Primal Lands because they are pretty, I mean, 
I say they're they're super neat. It's not that terribly much different than this. It's just a different scenery and a whole completely different set of monsters, which at this point you're probably you probably be pretty excited to see. Um, but yeah, that said, um, between that and um, some of the new weapons and stuff that you get in the Prime Lines, which remember if you're playing this. Um, it is free to play on Steam, as far as I'm aware of, but if you're playing this, you can go to the Primal Lands anytime you want. The problem is, when you warp, you lose all the progress in that dungeon, as well as um, any items you got, right? So there's really no, there's no major point to do that, unless I'm missing something, which I could absolutely be doing. Uh, there could be some people that just really prefer that, but it is harder than the normal dungeon. And you have to beat the dungeon in this realm anyways. Like, you have to go through the dungeon levels here, whereas the Primal Lands, you do not. Like, I don't believe that counts as the same thing. So, all that to say, you know, if you start back at, at level 1 in the Primal Lands in each new dimension, then what would be the point of progressing that dungeon, right? At least that's how I'm looking at it. Uh, keep in mind that when I played the game originally, Primal Lands was not out. That was something that was released a year or two, maybe three years later. I don't know exactly how long uh, after the game. I'm pretty sure the game came out in 2020, and I don't think Primal Lands came out until at least one or two years later. Uh, but correct me if I'm wrong. But in any event, I did not have that uh, luxury. So my only choice was to run the castle anyway. But yeah, suffice to say, if you're playing and you're trying to somewhat match what I'm doing for whatever reason, uh, just know that I'm not running the primal lands until we get into the warrior dimension. Whereas you can do what you'd like. And there is some considerable grinding off camera, you know. I, I I enjoy it though, but man, this this like script set is so much better. It really is. All right, here we go. Level one thousand. If you would like to witness cosmic history, okay. I'll see you there, buddy. I'm coming for you, sir. And I have to at least, I have to get all the way to level 1000. That's another spot, <clears throat> that's something else I meant to cover too is, we are going to be unlocking, uh, unlocking? We're going to be unlocking uh, the Tavern Keeper, the Wizard, the Bar Keep, or whatever the other ones are. I haven't even unlocked the Chef, but honestly, as fun as the Chef can be, uh, I'd rather focus on leveling up characters that actually progress, like have major progression. Uh, again, I will show the chef off at some point. I'll get him leveled up off camera, and um, we'll take him out just to show him off. But that is not a priority. And if you're playing along, um, I would not. I mean, of course, being as where this is in the uh, in the let's play, I wish I had mentioned it sooner. But there are just certain classes I wouldn't focus too much on. But again, it's up to you. It's not like it matters whether you know whether you do it or not but you, you can level whatever you want is my point it's just if you're trying to be efficient then oh, that only took five minutes I get a dagger nice okay do we have any quests it does not look like it okay so that was kind of a waste but okay well that's fine huh so yeah if I had 20k which I don't I could just hire the party right here but uh, yeah I guess I'll have to be inconvenienced well I was kind of assuming that um, that, that was gonna that was going to give us more quests, but I guess I'll have to go up higher in the dungeon. Now, what was it that I wanted to show off? I've already forgotten what it was. Let's look at this real quick before I forget. So when we get to 1,000, we'll be able to make this. 200% damage reflection. It's a schematic, though, so... And that's what you'll need to make it. Yeah, good luck getting 15 uranium bars. And five obsidian, which is also a, a, like a legendary. Those two are legendaries. The sulfur is not, but anyways. Well, I just said what I wanted to show off, and now I've already forgotten. That's um, that's disappointing. Well, I'm drawing a blank. But yeah, the ones that I mean, these guys can be cool, right? At 25, they get big blurp, which is... It, it has a chance to spin the target and poison, which is kind of neat. 
but would I use them for that? Uh, carpenters, I would absolutely focus on. Nurses, absolutely. You need the mystic until you have enough MP to where you don't need her to basically restore it with a small, like, MP regen. The thief is, I would say, is pretty important for stealing essence, at least early game. The huntress, I wouldn't waste my time on. The blade master is pretty cool, but again, I would not waste my time on him. Dark mages are definitely have their function. And then, oh, that's what I was going to do. That was the stuff I was talking about. Uh, the sodas. Uh, you got the chef. Where's it at? Okay, chef. I can't really show you what he does, but basically you don't you don't really get to control him, I don't think. Support char character who cooks spare resources into powerful bust for your party. And then we're going to be unlocking. Now you'll notice when we unlock the wizard, which is 500,000, he comes with his own blueprint, legendary blueprint. So I, I don't know if this unlocks and, and it's unlocked for good or if you have to re-unlock this every um, dimension. But based off of what I went through um, in the previous Soda Dungeon, I'm going to assume that means you have to do it in every dimension, which means I'll just wait. And then the next one is the blacksmith. And again, he has his own legendary thing. And then this is the one you really want. Unlock the tavern, tavern owner and this uh, Barstein. Look at this. 10% boost to all stats, 15 item find, 12% chance to level up a random relic on hit. Not on kill, but on hit. This should be your priority the second you get into the warrior dimension. So that is that is what we're going to be focusing on. And every one of those that we get just a random upgrade, it just goes into whatever you have unlocked here. We have none of these, so it can't go into any of these yet. And ideally, you want to have these at a higher level because if it, if it just happens to give me one, it's a free 204 um, of these. Look at this. If I wanted to go up a 1,000 levels right now, it would be 3.9 million essence, which I obviously don't have. So, But anyways, um, that's what's going to happen here. Oh, oh, it did give me a relic. Look at that. It gave me the physical attack. Oh, I'm glad I looked at that because I didn't even notice. Okay. Well... 25 well we can go 25 levels so let's go ahead and just do that we went up 28 levels so now we just have another straight percent boost to physical this is good um, I'd recommend before you start that bar stain thing get get these as high as you can ideally you get them to like level 1000 plus because then each one that that gives you a free level is giving you thousands of essence per but in any event, you can do it however you want. But yeah, that's what I wanted to show off. Uh, I'm going to start blasting here. So um, wish me luck. Um, if you uh, if you end up you know finding that you do, in fact, love the video today, um, hitting that thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. Uh, also, if you're not subscribed, now would be an amazing time to do it. And uh, I hope to see you in the next episode. We're really starting to get to the end game now. So hope to see you then. Have a good one.